Legally speaking, a traveller can bring up to 50,000 pesos, which is just under 1,000 US dollars, into the Philippines without prior authorization from the central bank of the Philippines. However, if a traveller wishes to bring more cash, they can do so as long as the currency is not in Filipino pesos. The law states that a traveller can carry up to 10,000 US dollars or its equivalent in other currency in cash. This includes checks, bonds, etc. But if the traveller wishes to bring more than 10,000 US dollars into the Philippines, a written statement must be submitted and approved by the Central Bank of the Philippines. Ideally, a traveller should bring enough cash to support them for the first few weeks. However, if you apply the saving method, which I will mention in a moment, then you will only need enough money for the first five to seven days at most. Nonetheless, budgeting a few weeks is often advisable to be on the safe side financially speaking. This leads us on to the next question of how much money to bring to the Philippines. On average, the living expenses for expats in the Philippines total approximately $1,000 a month. Therefore, if we are aiming for two weeks living expenses, which is the amount of money we are going to take into the Philippines, then this would be around 500 US dollars. However, two weeks living expenses may be an overestimation for some. For example, if you already have your accommodation arranged and you are confident that the majority of costs will be taken care of, then you may be okay with budgeting only a few days or up to seven days. Therefore, a budget of 200 to $250 may be more appropriate amount for your situation. You may also start to ask, well, what is the best way to spend money in the Philippines? The first option we will speak about is cash. Cash is paid to purchase visas, for example, but there are also many other cash expenses when you first arrive in the Philippines. These expenses are why it's often important to bring a little bit of extra cash into the Philippines for any additional costs that may crop up. The next type of expenses include accommodation rental, car rental, internet, electricity bills, and so on. These are often expenses that can be paid online, but how do you pay online if you do not have a Philippines bank account? The answer is a company called Wise, which was formerly known as TransferWise. I have spoken about this company many times, as they have literally saved me thousands, and through my research and speaking to other expats, it's clear that they are the best international transfer transfer supplier globally. WISE allows you to send and receive money from anywhere in the world, a few countries excluded, but most Southeast Asian countries are available on the WISE platform, and therefore many use WISE when living in the Philippines. In addition, the currency conversion is often excellent and the fees are extremely low. I won't bore you with all the benefits, but I have included the link to WISE in the description for those who are looking for more information. So what's our plan going to be. The first stage is to apply for a WISE account. This will be extremely handy and even on the rare occasion you decide not to use your WISE account, you still have a borderless bank account which can be very valuable in the future. The second stage is to convert your local currency into Filipino pesos. I would first suggest withdrawing a few hundred dollars and transferring this into Filipino pesos ready for the first few days of living in the Philippines. The third stage is to start to use your WISE account to pay for high expenses. This includes paying for the rental deposit and the monthly internet expenses, and at this stage, you can continue to pay for these expenses through cash and through WISE. However, there is a fourth stage for those who are looking to live long-term in the Philippines. And this fourth stage is to obtain a bank account in the Philippines. Previously, I have spoken about how foreigners can obtain a bank account in the Philippines so I've added the link in the description below. But to summarize, foreigners will often need an ACR card, which stands for Alien Certificate of Registration, and meet the financial requirements. But of course, it's always essential to bring your emergency cards and your bank cards from your home country, which can be used to access your money. But you may find that the fees and the currency exchange are not the best, and therefore using WISE for online payments and or a local Philippines bank account is often the smartest choice. 